good morning to you all dear students of class 8 welcome back again to our as usual english literature class hope you are all staying fit and healthy at your homes now i am going to teach you a very interesting poem and the topic of the poem is lines composed in a wood on a windy day which is written by and bronte in this poem the poet and bronte has tried to present in front us the various things in the nature she is inspired by the nature she is influenced by the beauty of the nature the various objects in the nature draws her attention towards to it which compels her to write lines in the form of this poem okay here the various things in the nature like the wind mountains ocean river trees plants various organisms in the nature are the objects which inspires her to write such beautiful poem for us to read really if we visit to the surrounding regions so many objects we observe in the nature which are the beauties of the nature if they are there then the nature is found to be so beautiful the presence of the plants and the trees and the animals and the insects and the birds and the butterflies they gratify the nature's beauty that is what it makes the poet also to get inspired and write such beautiful lines for us to read this is what we come to understand here after the reading of this particular poem children so now i am going to read out the lines for you please listen it carefully and try to understand then later i will give you the explanation of the poem right okay children here we begin the lines first here i begin the poem for you children to read it out listen it and pay attention lines composed in a wood on a windy day my soul is awakened my spirit is soaring and carried aloft on the wings of the breeze around me the wild wind is roaring arousing to rapture the earth and the seas the long withered grass in the sunshine is glancing the bare trees are tossing their branches on high the dead leaves beneath them are merrily dancing the white clouds are scudding across the blue sky i wish i could see how the ocean is lashing the form of its billows to whirlwinds of spray i wish i could see how its proud waves are dashing and hear the wild roar of their thunder today written by and ronti it looks she is really inspired by the beauty of the nature whatever the various activities it goes on in the nature it draws her attention towards to it and she is really getting inspired by it and that is what it makes her bound to write such beautiful lines for us to read isn't it so now after this i will be explaining you the verses one by one please listen it here i begin the very first stanza for you children my soul is awakened my spirit is soaring and carried aloft on the wings of the breeze around me the wild wind is roaring arousing to rapture the earth and the seas here in the poem the poet and bronte is found to be overwhelmed or fascinated by the beauty of the nature no sooner she realizes that the nature around her is so pleasant windy clear blue sky above her head she feels as if she has been awakened from a deep deep sleep and now she feels that her spirit has been raising very high above 
because of such looks of the nature when she finds around her the movement of the strong wind with its roaring sounds this gives her or arouses her to collect or gather the pleasure or the unbelievable happiness that one can get in this universe and the sees everywhere which is found in the nature children so this is what we understand in this stanza now i am going to read the second stanza the long withered grass in the sunshine is glancing the bare trees are tossing their branches on high the dead leaves beneath them are merrily dancing the white clouds are skirting across the blue sky at this moment when the nature is at its full glow she notices that the long withered soft grasses on the meadows in the sunshine too looks as if shining or glimmering at the same time the trees with without leaves are also found to be tossing their branches with each other by the movement of the wind even the fallen leaves of the trees on the ground are found to be moving to and fro by the blowing of the wind as if they are dancing in happiness she also notices the white clouds high above the clear blue sky moving quickly from one corner to the other by the blowing of the wind in this way the poet and bronte has described the various activities of the natural objects how do the long withered grasses even though they are withered withered means god matured and dried and with no energy with them such type of grasses are referred here as withered grasses how do they also shine and glimmer by the presence of the sunshine even the bare trees where there are no leaves to be found they are also found to be the branches of those trees are also found to be tossing their branches high above with each other even the dead leaves which are fallen on the ground are also found to be moving here and there by the blowing of the wind isn't it the white clouds which are found to be high above the sky clear blue sky they are also moving from one direction to the other these are the various sights these are the various visions which make her to inspire to get inspired with which she is here writing these beautiful lines for us to read children so this is what we come to know and understand through these lines in the poem in this second verse children here it is the third verse for you i wish i could see how the ocean is lashing the foam of its billows to whirlwinds of spray i wish i could see how its proud waves are dashing and hear the wild roar of their thunder today in this meantime when she is found to be very longing to experience some of the more exciting views in the nature like those of the movements of the waves in the ocean in its show the foam in its waves when it is found to be seen with a whirling movement on its surface spraying far to its ends she also wishes to notice how those proud waves of the ocean are dashing ahead in its course of movements finally she would really enjoy then by listening those thundering roars of the waves which would really satisfy her hunger for such beauty of the nature here we understand that how the poetess is really fascinated by not only the plants and the trees and the 
birds and the insects all beside these seas also fascinated by the movement of the waves in the ocean isn't it how do the waves in the ocean they lash from one end to the other the forms created over the surface of the ocean with the will winds of the spray how do they look so beautiful this also draws her attention towards to it and she enjoys it so much and beside that she also wishes i wish i could see how its proud waves are dashing she wishes to long she longs it more and more to see all those sights in the ocean how do the waves move from one end to the other again and again and makes a very beautiful sight to enjoy for anyone and hear the wild roar of their thunder today and those sounds of the waves those roaring sounds of the waves also fascinates her more and more and that is what it makes her to feel really enjoyable at that moment when she notices all these views in the nature at the same time she also happens to listen the sounds of these objects all the also at the same time these are the various things which really fascinates her and it makes her get inspired and she happens to write it down in these lines of the poem children in this way we finally come to the conclusion of our today's poem i think i hope you have all understood it very well so after this i will be providing you the various uh photos of the different stanzas so that you can note it down in your notebooks too and learn it properly the word meanings the poem for the next text text to be conducted after the completion of this particular chapter thank you children